Welcome back trainers and today we're going to be going full out Greninja hunting with the team that I'm using here. So we're going to be going with Kamo'o. Horrible IVs, I know, I know. Lay it on me, tell me how it is. As well as Ampharos. Oh, I love my Shadow Ampharos. This thing's amazing. You can take a decent hit and it hits so hard with Volt Switch, Thunder Punch and Brutal Swing. I love it. If you don't have a good Shadow Ampharos, try to find one. And then of course, now, not of course, but we're gonna be using this shiny Clefable with Fairy Wind, Moonblast, and Meteor Mash. Good stuff right here. This is a decent team. I had a blast with it. Let's see what happens. Now, make sure you stay tuned towards the end, okay? Because we're gonna be leading with Kamo'o the entire time. I want you to see the leads we're getting. Okay, we're not gonna change the team. We're gonna just reorganize it. We're gonna put Amphros up on the front and then I want you to see exactly what we are going to see in the lead after that. At this point, it's not a surprise. It's just kind of like a little special funny treat now because the algorithm's real and we'll see that then. Anyways, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at these battles here, folks. Let's get into this right away. All right, Clefable. Doesn't have the ideal IVs you would probably want, but I don't care. I'm just gonna go with it anyways. Clefable can take a hit, absolutely no joke. Absolutely no joke, love this thing, great stuff. You do have to look out for poisons, but then again, you do have Meteor Mash for coverage. Gonna go ahead and finish this battle off with a Meteor Mash and one more Fairy Wind, or it looks like two more, and then we take the win, let's get it. So like I said, towards the end, we'll swap to Amphros and Delina, and I'll, I want you to see what's gonna be. All right, so we have a Confusion user, that's not good for us. So we're gonna go ahead and swap into Clefable. We could have went Amphros, but I don't wanna get locked in with a Swamper right now, so we'll just go ahead and just bring in our Clefable here since this thing can take whatever they dish out to us. We're gonna shield up that first one, and they did, of course, drop my attack, which is actually very awful for us. So we're gonna go ahead and go for the harder hitting Moon Moonblast now, which is still doing a decent amount, and bringing them into the red is pretty good. Although they have Confusion, and Komo'o's gonna be taking a decent amount. They don't KO, though. This is what I'm talking about. Clefable, the tank, going for the Meteor Mash and still taking the win. Bring in a Giratina, and we're gonna go ahead and bring in our Kamo'o. Now they do have a little bit of energy here and Dragon Claw does do a decent amount to Kamo'o. As you can see, bringing us into the yellow, they swap into Togekiss, and this is not looking good for us whatsoever. Okay, they have two shields. How am I gonna pull this off? There you go, that's how. Now, <laughs> um, this has nothing to do with them. You know, everybody does something or has a, a vision in their mind on how the battle's gonna play out, right? It's kind of, you know, it's, it's a little stressful and complicated sometimes trying to figure out how to win in a, in a situation in about two or three seconds thinking about it because that's what it's going to take for you to uh, make a decision needed. So I'll tell you how they could have won. Shield up to Togekiss. That's a wrap. Yeah, that's it. Shield up to Togekiss and they would have beat me. But now we had a double KO, which is still always great. Okay, next battle, we're gonna be met with a Drapion. Good for us. Swapping into Guzzlord, and we're gonna go ahead and bring in Conflable to completely wall them here. Probably could have gotten away with doing one more quick move on the Kamo'o to gain that energy, but yeah, that's okay. What I also could have done here is went for the um, Meteor Mash and then farmed them down with Fairy Wind, seeing that they're Dark and Dragon. I could have gotten a lot of farm and they weren't going to take us anywhere. <laughs> they weren't taking us anywhere with our health. All right, back up against this Drapion here, landing a Meteor Mash. I mean, we're looking great. We already got this thing into the yellow. I mean, they went for Crunch. Oh my gosh, we're good. We're so good. I do believe that this Drapion has Crunch as well as Aqua Tail. I think I shield this. No, we let it go. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, right. So we know they have Crunch and Aqua Tail. We're going to farm them down Komo'o. Let's have a little fun here. Where the hell are the Greninjas? See, yeah, was that one? <laughs> right when I said it? Right when I said it? Yup, oh shoot, let's get it. I didn't even remember this one. Okay, so this was the whole point of the team. It's not like, oh my goodness, Greninjas are such a threat. They're damn good, you know, they can be a threat for sure. You do not need three Pokemon to try to counter it. I'm just playing around. I'm just screwing around and having a little fun here because it's funny, so many people are ready for Greninja. Now I'm just taking it to the next level. But you think I'm taking it to the next level? Wait until you see this opponent. I think it's this opponent here. Okay. So we have a uh, Pidgeot, which is not necessarily within itself good against Greninja. Uh, it's not horrible, but it is not great. Um, so we're going to let this go. There's a Brave Bird. 
and they have. Oh no no no, never mind. Wrong person. We're not there yet. So bring it in, Garatina. We let that brave bird go, unfortunately, and they're going to be shadow calling us down. That's okay. That's actually better for us here, so we can just go into this as a clean battle. But we're going to shield this one up. We still have that Ampharos to handle the Pidgeot. I highly doubt that they're going to have Pidgeot and Greninja on their team. They do have the Giratina, but that'll make them very vulnerable to Electric. So let's see if they actually want to go with that, right? So we're going to let this go. We will survive barely. We're going to put all our hope into Ampharos. Oh, they snipe me. Ooh, you got me. All right. What's it going to be? We're going to let it go. What is it going to be? A Brave Bird. Great. Folks, are we going to be able to pull this off? If they're coming back in here with Giratina, you better believe there's something in the back. And they do have a Greninja. <laughs> it's Greninja hunting time, boys. Let's go. Oh, you done screwed up now. <laughs> got he. Got he. Okay. <laughs> you have no idea how happy I was about that battle. It was a good one nonetheless, but it was just the fact that the Ambros. Damn. So we have a... <laughs> Togekiss, the worst lead for us. So we're gonna go ahead and swap into our Clefable here, which is funny enough, I didn't plan it this way, but we have a you know a double a Togekiss counter. So we got Medium Mash and then we have Ampharos with Electric. So nice. Hell yeah. Alright, so going for another one here. I do believe they double shield. <laughs> okay. Do we get to I think we do. We get to another one and we KO their damn Togekiss and they use both their shields. And we still have one. Yeah. You love it. You love to see it. This is the one. This is the one that's trying to get those Greninjas. So they got a double charm here. So they're using Shadow Gardevoir and they swap to catch a Brutal Swing. Oh, I keep getting it wrong. It's not the double charm. Jeez. Okay, I forget it. I don't think they're in here. Nonetheless, this is definitely Hunting Greninja with a Shadow Charm and a Shadow Machamp counter and charm. <laughs> so they caught very nice catch. Now we're gonna go for a last minute desperation close combat four times resisted. What are you doing? Because there's no other options. All right, bringing in Ampharos and getting off the Thunder Punch. Yeah, baby, let's go. Nah, get that Shadow Charm out of here. You're gonna use Shadow Charm, you better run, Granville. Next battle met with a Polyrath. Uh, yeah, this is like a double-edged sword here because of Ice Punch, okay? They're not getting stabbed, but it's gonna do a lot. We'll let the first one go. Yeah, gonna get KO'd for the next one. They're bringing in a Giratina. Uh, I wouldn't say, oh, they caught, oh my God. Oh my gosh, I am pissed. I am pissed. Oh my. <laughs> that was a rage mode. I can't believe I left that in there. What? Okay, there you go. Some fun stuff for you to laugh at. All right. Now we got a good one here. Talonflame. There we go. There we go. Let's get it. Now we do still need to look out for a Brave Bird, which is going to one shot me. Okay, so we got to make sure we shield that up. On the other hand, if they bait us, huh, that's not good. So we'll shield it up, Brave Bird, thank God. Nice. And they're swipping, <laughs> swipping, switching into the target that we have been looking for. We got him in our sights. We got him down the scope. And it's time to lock on. Let's go. So this Greninja is actually putting in the work here, unfortunately. We survive. And I didn't think I was going to get to the Moonblast, but uh, it doesn't matter. We still get a shield out of them anyways. We survive with, what, 1 HP? Bring it. Am I going to lose to the damn Greninja that I'm hunting? <laughs> Jeez Louise. All right, this thing walls it. Come on, oh, just, uh, just walls it completely unless you have Aerial Ace, okay? All right, so what are they, was that a Swamper back there? That, that's not particularly great for me. Yeah, it's not good. Um, because we do have Ampharos in the back. A Hydro Cannon will be, won't be enough, but the Quick Moves will be able to farm us down. So they swap into their Talonflame, come on. Oh, hell yeah, we farmed them down with Ampharos, and now we're going to start throwing these brutal swings over here and get their shields right away. Okay, well, you can let it go, and I'll just farm you down. Good game. All right. Next battle, what are we going to see here? Good thing we called that Brave Bird in the beginning of the last one. Horrible lead with the Komoot. Well, we're getting bad leads. We're getting a good lead, bad lead, good lead, bad lead. I guess that's a pretty good even matchup there. All right, so there you go. I'm just showing you what's up. Okay, I mean, <laughs> straight countered, I wasn't having it. You know, when you have a go battle day and you have all these battles you need to do, I just straight, I just don't have, don't have no time for that hard counter shit. Okay, so we have a nice neutral matchup here. Great, we'll stay, well, <laughs> I'm saying neutral, I'm all fighting at close combat. Uh, it's a pretty good matchup here and they caught with the muck and I was so annoyed. I thought it was the poison muck or the pure, the Kanto muck. 
it is actually going to be the poison and dark so thank goodness and it did a decent amount of damage swapping into Amphros, going for the thunder punch and what's gonna happen here acid spray calling it and we've gotten a shield out of them already beating them to the next charge move of course and getting to that thunder punch after our defense has been lowered so they're gonna be able to farm us down easier depending on what they bring in what's it gonna be that lick a tongue, that lick a tongue, <laughs> Snorlax. So they uh, lick me down and I'm thinking what I need to do here. Okay, all right, so Clefable is gonna be able to absorb whatever the Snorlax is gonna throw at us here, as opposed to the Kamo'o, -Oh, we would have had a shield up and I don't really wanna go in here with it yet. I feel like I need it in the back. I do believe we have a little bit of energy. We will shield that one up and they're retreating into a Venusaur. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that Meteor Mash. Look, they were trying to, I don't know, catch, it doesn't, who knows. But nonetheless, we get out that Meteor Mash and we swap into our Komo'o. Um, things are getting a little bit crazy here. Yes, I know that was going to be a Frenzy plan. I have to shield it up because Venusaur doesn't care what your type is. It will still destroy your ass. Uh, back in with the Snorlax here, and this is pretty much a wrap. I mean, the Clefable has full health. There's, well, no, it's half health. A little of an exaggeration there. I do believe we have energy pretty much ready to go with the Meteor Mash. And we take the win. Thank you, Clefable. We got a decently long video here. Um, yeah, because of those uh, extra battles that we're going to be able to be doing for Go Battle League. All right, so we were met with a Charizard. This is decent. Ah, no, this is not. This is bad. What am I talking about? <laughs> Stab, wing attack, dragon claw spam. This is freaking shite. All right, so <laughs> we're going to just hang tight here because we have Clefable. Uh, we don't want to, you know, get screwed over there. So what's going to happen is we're going to be bringing them down low enough to the point with that we're going to be able to farm them down with the Ampharos after this Dragon Claw here, and they will not be able to get to a charge move. It's going to be very close. Okay. Ampharos's Volt Switch is very slow, but taking them down, good to, good to see it. And what are they going to be bringing in a Cresselia? Okay. Uh, this is fine. We'll take it. No problem. Sure. Got Brutal Swing ready to go. Swapping into our Clefable here again because it's going to be able to just simply absorb the charge moves. Future Sight, Moonblast, Grass Knot, I don't give a damn. See, just absolutely amazing and just kind of, I wouldn't say it's not OP uh, with Fairy Wind, but it's making it very good. Oh, swapping into Polyrath. All right, you, what's it going to be? You going to shield this up? Oh, you let it go. You were calling it. And we almost one-shot that Polyrath. We're going to let this Ice Punch go. We still survive in double KO, bringing in the Ampharos. And this is a wrap. I mean, a, a Future Sight's going to hurt. They have Moonblast. All we need to do is build up to two Brutal Swings, right? Or did they do they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, they're putting up a fight until the end. I'm pretty sure that this is a Future Sight and it's going to do a lot. Yeah. And we survive and take the win. Thank you. Thank you, Ampharos. All right. Keep it moving here. Still leading with Kamo O oh, until still a little bit more time here. It's the last few battles where we swap it to the Ampharos. So a pretty decent, not now, nah, it is a kind of an interesting matchup with the Steelix. Dragon Tail, Psychic Fangs, they're retreating with energy and bringing in Gyarados. We swap into our Ampharos and farm them down. After getting hit by Crunch, we got energy ready to go. Uh, the Steelix should be able to farm us down with Dragon Tail. I do believe the Crunch did lower our defense, although I was not looking. And we're able to get to one more brutal swing. Unfortunately, it's not doing brutal damage. Well, below half. Not bad. All right. Going to go ahead and threaten them with the potential having to use a shield here. Yeah, exactly. They didn't want to go down with all that energy. Dragon Claw bait. Crunching me up. Not very effective. Swapping into Clefable because I'm just having a feeling that I might need that Kamo'o in the back. And we go for Moonblast here. Still doing a decent amount. We're not going to be able to fairy wind them down. I mean, we could probably, uh, Earthquake, jeez. Okay, they've got a Giratina. We've got two shields. We need to start baiting around here. We've got Kamo'o, which is gonna be doing some big damage with Dragon Tail, Dragon Claw, but this is getting a little bit tight here. We better start to use our shields. So Dragon Claw baited me up. I mean, uh, we could have survived, but the Shadow Claws uh, pursuing afterwards would have taken me out and that would have, you know, equaled bad, all right? then the Kamo'o would have been able to get farmed. So we swap immediately after that Dragon Claw. Clefable's still alive. We've gotten both shields, okay? They swap back into their Steelix. We farm them down. Folks, this is happening, and they back out. We take the win. Kamo'o pulling off for us, and company, of course. Good stuff. All right, where are the damn Greninjas, huh? All of a sudden, they're vanished out of thin air, right? After I put three of counters on my team, just poof, gone. No Greninjas after I saw them on literally every single team that day. Okay, it is, so don't 
some of these critics out there were like, well, you know, it was new. People are slowing down. No, this was the day. I was using another team. I was every team I would see it swap to this team, nowhere to be seen. And they would come out once in a while. We've seen a couple of them, but it wasn't like I was seeing them before literally four battles out of five each set. Anyways, what's going on here? Playing that situation again, like I was doing with the Amphros before, we can't swap because we have Clefable and they have a charm uh, Sylveon in the back. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start spamming these Thunder Punches here. Swap into the Clefable and go for the Meteor Mash, outpacing them because of that charm, slow energy gain here and easily absorbing these charms at the, uh, I don't know why I keep spacing, Sylveon's name is throwing at us, or yeah, good to go. I don't know why I, I'm all over the place right now, but <laughs> I feel like I'm extra excited for these battles. All right, so we've got a Giratina. Hmm, that's, that's nice, that's nice Giratina over there. Be a shame if we uh, one-shotted it. <laughs> Look at this thing. You gotta love that shiny too, nice green tips. And that extra Volt Switch we threw was a big no-no. You wanna make sure if you have a move that is very slow, quick move that's very slow and you've got the energy to not tap the screen and tap immediately on the charge move. Greninja, shiny, let's go, let's get it. All right, you're mine, boy. There's nowhere you're gonna run. There's nothing you can do. I was I was thinking to myself, it's probably gonna be Aerial Ace this time, right? So they swap into a Verizion and I'm gonna go ahead and throw my hardest move close combat here and then bring in my Clefable as the Verizion can somewhat handle it with Stone Edge and Spammy Leaf Blades. Hitting me with a Stone Edge, and we're gonna go ahead and throw Meteor Mash because it's not necessary to throw a Moon Blast right now. Exactly, Meteor Mash is enough to take them out. Nobody's used to Shield. Clefable's still in the green. Komo'o still in the green. Clefable is a counter to Greninja, but it's not gonna be able to wall it as far as the damage. Oh my gosh, we were at the Meteor Mash, but they take us out with an extra. I'm not even gonna say the freaking damn quick move on Greninja because you guys literally have told me 20 different ways to say it in the comments. You're yeah, killing me over right. here. It's like I'm getting every different version from every different country and every different version of every different person's ideal way to say water shariakin, whatever the hell you're saying, guys. <laughs> I love y'all though. Uh, I'm just, you know, it's all fun and games for the ones that are being, you know, funny about it. There's some people who like to like take, take it a step further. And those are the people that need to get slapped in the face and tell them to sit down. Like, and then it's like, yeah, just get out of here. You're not funny. While all of us are laughing in a group, you can go stand over there in the corner by yourself with your Cheeto fingers, you weirdo. Next battle, we got the thing that we're hunting. Let's get it. They're running away and bringing in a Giratina. So we're going to go ahead and swap into that Clefable. All right. Show me Shadow Sneak, of course. I had not, haven't seen Shadow Sneak ever since I put Clefable on my team, literally. It's always Dragon Claw Ancient Power. Ever since I put Clefable, or at least this team I have, it has not been Ancient Power. Only Dragon Claw and Shadow Sneak. Because of oh, the algorithm, it's not a mystery, right? I, what, what, I wanna know what's going on in the brains of the people who are denying it. Oh, man, it, it must be like Tumbleweeds and an empty water park in there. It's just like, you know, when you walk by a water park that has a few fountains and you just hear the water like tsh, 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 tsh. That's probably what it's like in their brain, just constant water splashing and... <laughs> Am I being too mean? Okay, sorry. Anyways, taking them out with the... <laughs> Got one shield. Woo, what's going on here? Swapping, that's not a good matchup. Knowing that the Greninja was there. <laughs> I bring in the Amphros and they kind of just said, huh? Backed out. This next game, what are we gonna see? Okay, Kamo, pay attention to the leads, right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We're having some decent ones. So I back out, and at this point, I'm fed up. I back out, I'm like, oh, yeah? Okay. Bullshit. So I put, <laughs> I put Amphros up front. Watch. Watch what we're going to see. We did not see this one time. Check it. Swampert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swampert lead after we just swapped out our dragon that was up front for an electric. Oh, yeah. This game is rigged as hell for my account. You better believe it. I don't know how rigged it is going to be compared to your account, and I don't know if there's different levels to it, but I definitely know that there's there's many of us who are on a different level than than some of these people that are just skating to legend. Like I don't like they're just farting their way there <laughs> with their eyes crossed. I'm like, what? Nah, I'm not going to you know pull people down that are working hard to get there, but for something, I'm just like, nah, this is a bullshit. N -uh -uh -uh, I don't believe it. Niantic is a very spiteful company that does very um, unethical things to their player base. 
And if there's anybody out here who wants to deny that, the only reason why you're going to deny that right now is because I'm saying it. But when they do something you don't like, oh, you're screaming here as Niantic, right? But when I say something, it's, no, they're, they're, they're good. <laughs> Anyways, we got this lead. Don't you love this? And I'm going to, I'm just going to keep it. I think we, um, I think the unedited part was for, no, 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 no. We're going to go unedited here in a second so you can see exactly what kind of leads we're getting. So with a bad lead, okay, yeah, bad lead, right, 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 right. The algorithm wants to hit me like that. So, just, all right, we're just going to have to work around it. Now to answer the question, there's an ancient power. There it is, finally. Now to answer the question, I'm, I went over this a thousand times, but I get it. Not everybody can watch all of my videos and we're still taking this win. Well, it's not over here yet, but uh, people ask, well, what about the people you're battling? Why is it easy for them? <laughs> it, you know, when I'm, when I'm hard countered, <sighs> look, I don't understand. I guess people just like to play dumbass. Uh, it's a 51% win rate. Do you get that in your head? Okay. It, it gives you good leads, gives you bad leads. Ampharos, look at that. Dragon gone grass. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, and I put the electric and they give me a grass and then a ground. Yeah, that's how it works. So it keeps you at like a 51, 52, 53 win percent if you're not on bitch easy mode. Okay. If you're on that little easy mode, then it'll let you go beyond and do whatever you want to do. More than likely, somebody who promotes them or kisses their ass or nicks their boots, pretty much. Simple as that. All right, Kamo, putting in the work here, we're working with what we got. Two bad leads after we swapped the dragon out because we were getting bad leads with the dragon and now we're getting bad leads with our electric because there is no running away from it. There, there is no running away. Bringing back the Clefable, you're our only hope. Help us, Obi-Wan. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so we shield up this leap blade. We've used one shield, so have they, but we're coming out of this with a lot of energy. We're still somewhat healthy. We've got an aggron. Of course we do. So we're going to go ahead and start throwing these meteor mashes because they're actually doing a decent amount to the rock typing. So, hey, sounds good to me. And they're letting it go. I swap into Amphros and they have a Gliscor. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I already know what it is. I'm not. It, it's not. It doesn't surprise me anymore. It kind. It just pisses me off. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me because I'm expecting it. I'm literally dreading going into Go Battle League because I know all it's gonna do is hard counter me, and it's not fun anymore for some of us. But I still bring you this content because I have to keep the spirits up. I have to keep the content going. And I'm here to entertain you and help you out because a lot of you have said that I've helped you out, right? So here we go. We're the one of the first people to do Go Battle League commentary. We were probably the first to do the fast-paced commentary. That was it. That was it. Anyways, next one. Let's go. What do we got here? Oh, by the way, somebody... Want, <laughs> never mind. I'll leave it. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Let's not even give him attention. Unedited. What do we have next? We have Amphros in the front still. All right. We had an electric. We had a ground. Now what are we going to get? Oh, another ground. What do you know? All this was never there when I was leading Kamo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All the good leads that I needed were not there as far as these ones. So, okay. We're going to go ahead and swap into Clefable and just absorb that. And they're bringing in a Cresselia. So we're going to go straight for the Moonblast here. All right. No attack debuff. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and let this go. It was a little... A little soon, since we did call that Grass Knot, we're looking pretty good here. Going to go for another Moonblast, and we've dropped their attack. So that's going to help out the Pokemon that I do bring in next. Although, uh, Moonblast is going to do a lot of damage to the Kamo'o still. So we're going to bring in the Afros, and we're going to farm them down. We can let anything go because it's all been neutralized to a degree, especially Grass Knot. And if we farm them down, oh my gosh, that's so much energy. Wow. Swampert's going to be taken out here by the Brutal Swings, and it's all to the Kamo'o. If they have a fairy in the back, I could, I should just back out. I mean, it's over. Kamo'o can't handle a fairy. They just cannot. Not with the moves I have. All right, so we're going to go ahead and shield this up. Hydro Cannon. And getting to one more Brutal Swing. We're going to try to swap. I think it's, it was a CMP here, though. Oh, no, we swap. Let's get it, baby. All right, now they can go for Earthquake, which can't, which will do a decent amount. I think I actually shielded up. Okay, good call. Shield this battle on both ends. They have a Giratina in the back. Now, since I have the ad energy advantage, we're going to be able to swipe this thing up. Claw this thing up. All right, so as you can see, doing a lot of damage, even though it's a tank, they're going to be doing it right back. But we are able to get to another one. I threw another Dragon Tail because 
it was going to be enough to take them out at that point. And there you have it, folks. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and take care. Finally here! <laughs> Fantastic!